Hey guys, Shungna here. In this video, I want to talk about five things that I wish I knew before I bought my first camera. So there are several points that I really wish I knew because a lot of things I did in the past, like I kind of wasted too much money on things that I didn't need it or I could have bought like a better version. So these are things I wish I really knew. So you guys do not make the same mistake as I did and actually get like a proper camera and not waste money. If you are new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button here below. I have a special giveaway for my birthday this year. So I'll be giving away a one year free subscription to Adobe Creative Cloud or apps. So if you want to join that contest, be subscribed to my channel and the deadline be on June 3rd this year. And I'll choose one winner who wins that prize. So the first thing you need to actually look at is your computer. So a lot of people think, uh, yeah, I can just get like a most expensive camera and I'll put like great stuff, but you still need to edit it. So especially uh, if you have like videos filmed in 4K, you really need to have like a fast computer that can handle it because I've seen people who have bought like the most newest camera has 4K, but they couldn't edit it. So what they had to do, they had to sell the camera buy a new computer and then buy like a less even lesser camera because they didn't have like the budget for it so make sure you have like a fast computer uh, however for photography that side isn't that extreme uh, needed unless you are uh, online uh, time constraint you want to have fast uh, output of like uh, yeah, converting out the images especially if you have like hundreds of photos in Lightroom and you want to export them it takes a while unless you have like a really fast computer that can uh, handle that faster so make sure your computer actually can handle the files that you are making so the second point is to do your own research so uh, the main thing is like if you are going to a shop and uh, ask them for information they always will point to a camera where they are going to earn a lot of bonuses so it's not that great uh, especially they will choose like a camera that on the day they will get a lot of bonus from and try to pitch sell you that camera instead of giving you like the camera that you actually need uh, personally when I worked at the shop I would just go for the camera that the person needs because I know like I rather have like a good reputation with the people than uh, actually trying to sell them something that they would not even need uh, another thing is like don't uh, go with fanboys uh, all people uh, they go with like a certain brand and uh, they only know like cameras within that brand. I've seen people buying really ridiculous uh, camera because like uh, all of their friends recommended it while it was like the worst camera they could choose and was not even like a camera they should have uh, gotten at all. So uh, yeah, I've seen like somebody who even like uh, is he bought like a Sony NX uh, which shoots 4K and really great resolutions and uh, the guy was a filmmaker but somehow his friends uh, convinced him to change to a lower grade Canon camera so I'm not quite sure but pretty much all you need to do is go online search for the information that's in a lot of websites and all videos on YouTube where you can actually find information to get like the proper camera that you need so the third point is like uh, accessories so you also want to get like accessories for your camera like uh, a SD card uh, uh, maybe a lens if you are filming a microphone a tripod all kinds of other things so you don't want to be stuck with the kit lens because that is quite limited and also at in low light conditions isn't that good so you want to buy all kinds of other things so you need to see what actually all those accessories uh, can be included in your package but also not spend too much just on the camera body but also buy the additional things that you need so the fourth point is uh, going the second hand route uh, a lot of people might not have think about it or are afraid about secondhand. However, secondhand cameras isn't that bad of a deal because you are actually paying less for the same camera if you can find actually the same camera uh, secondhand. But also, uh, you might be actually looking at uh, something of the same price but in a higher class. So you could buy like a more higher class DSLR instead of going for the entry level one and yeah that makes you uh yeah it's much better upgrade uh instead of having like a yeah lesser camera that you can't or 
uh, wouldn't be able to use that long for. So yeah, it's great to look at secondhand gear, also accessories, uh, tripods and lenses and you can get and find like or actually buy much more accessories, much more things by going the secondhand route while buying brand new you will be actually much more limited uh, to your budget. So the fifth point is actually expanding your budget a little bit. Uh, the main thing is you don't really need to buy your camera directly. Uh, you can often wait for quite a while. Uh, another thing is you can also ask your friend to borrow his camera and also teach you a little bit about how the camera works, how it actually feels and it's actually like for free. So you can actually learn a bit about photography if you actually love to do it, if you want to buy those kind of cameras. And also if you are going for a job you don't really need to buy a camera for it you can actually rent a camera which is not that expensive but also you can ask of course a friend if they have like a camera for you to borrow so you can actually earn more money to buy like a better camera so hopefully this uh, these five tips or five information uh, uh, yeah really help you guys if it was really educational please give me a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed yet please hit that subscribe button here below and I'll see you guys next time bye bye